Students heading back to school this week here at Cleo Gordon Elementary School won't have much of a playground to come back to at all as fire investigators are still working to figure out who or what may have caused a devastating fire that happened here on Saturday night. This is what Fairfield firefighters found just after sunset behind Cleo Gordon Elementary School in a place usually surrounded by innocent laughter. They arrived to find a pretty significant fire in the playground. It appeared that the plastics of the playground had melted, which you see some of the pictures have the ring that looks like a fluid. That's what plastic does when it burns, turns into a fluid. Leaving students with few options to play on at recess. It's a terrible thing, you know. Why, uh, why mess with the kids? Edward Hayden has two grandkids that go to this school right across the street from his house. And the kids are going to suffer behind us. Um, That's their playground. It's what, you know, it's for their enjoyment during school time. So why would anybody want to do that? They have, they definitely have some type of issue. Within hours of putting this fire out on Saturday night, firefighters said the cause was arson. Obviously something had to have lit it, whether it could have been a cigarette butt, whether somebody could have lit it with some sort of device, whether somebody used an ignitable liquid, we're unable to detect any of that because everything gets consumed when you have those type of fires. They burn really hot because of the plastics. But with no witnesses and no video yet, investigators are still missing a few pieces to this puzzle. It's going to be months before they'll be able to rebuild it and have it back up and running for the kids, for the kindergartners. But I'm sure they're going to have other things for them to do until that happens. If you have any information about this case or if you saw anything suspicious in this area on Saturday night, you are asked to call the Fairfield Police Department right away. Their information is posted on our website at abc10.com.